Hey guys, what's up? This is Giving Up 96 here, and uh, today we got a, another package opening. This time it's from Amazon.com. Um, I'm just picking up these random Blu-rays, like I always did, and now I'm very much. Well, I'll just show this guy off. Collecting Godzilla stuff. This is the Tamashi Arts uh, Godzilla from um, uh, the Monster Arts Figures band. I um, I got the Kraken Blu-rays recently, and I have the Criterion Blu-ray of the original, and I also have all the Sony Toho collection ones. And now, well, let's just open this up and we'll show what else we got. Uh, two of them are Toho's, and one is uh, an American film. So let's dig right in here, and we'll show you what we got. Uh, let's start off with the um, the oddball film, and that is Alfred Hitchcock's Rear Window. This is an amazing film. I recommend all you um, out there to watch this. Uh, if you've seen Disturbia, uh, which or uh, Christopher Walken in Rear Window, it's the same story except this is the best way with Alfred Hitchcock. Um, the bonus features c include, um, uh, well, it's basically about this guy who's broken his leg and feels he's witnessed a murder next door. Uh, the bonus contents are Rear Window, an original documentary. Sorry, Rear Window Ethics, an original documentary. A conversation with screenwriter John Michael Hayes. Pierce Cinema, Through the Eyes of the Master. Breaking Barriers, The Sound of Hitchcock. Hitchcock slash Truffaut interview excerpts. Master of Cinema. Feature commentary with John Farwell, uh, author of Hitchcock's Rear Window, the well-made film. Uh, production photographs, theatrical trailers, real release trailer, and narrated by James Stewart, which is awesome. Uh, all this is really cool. Uh, these are the Blu-ray ultraviolet copies, and I gotta say this right here is really freaking annoying to me because I don't care if there's an ultraviolet copy nobody cares once I use it guess what no more ultraviolet copy it's just a blu-ray stop putting this on top of my blu-rays it's just as bad as when steelbooks used to put the blue uh, banner on the steelbook it's very I know it's blu-ray calm down guys uh, but we'll open it up um, and I'll show off the art. Some really, really nice art here, actually, for this release. Wow. I'll show you in a sec after I, I guess I'll just do it this way. Flip the disc around. Check that out. That's really cool disc art. I gotta say, that's an A-plus in my book. And the best part about it no recyclable cases um i don't know if you guys are like me with that but it kills me but um next with our uh, toho stuff um we will be showing these are from universal pictures and the first one is king kong versus godzilla yeah, this is the one that came out a while ago, but I was iffy on whether or not I'm going to pick it up. And I ended up picking it up because, um, as a collector, having some of the Godzilla Blu-rays, but not the rest of them, annoyed me. And, uh, well, that's just the main gist of it, I guess. I'm really excited for uh, the uh, the release. Well, the re-release re of Destroy All Monsters on um, Blu-ray and the release of uh, 
Godzilla vs. Megalon for the first time on Blu-ray. Um, you've been able to pre-order it for like three years now, and then the DVD finally came out after distribution stuff. But pick it up. Toho's not very keen on letting us keep our uh, releases of that film. I don't know why, they just don't like it. But uh, there's the King Kong vs. Godzilla Blu-ray disc. Fuck you, Universal. I'm sorry, this bothers me. Um, it's just so bland, they don't even care. So, well, I know what to expect with the next one, then. Um, and the next one being... King Kong Escapes! Um, yeah, I picked this up just because... They released these two side by side. And it sounded like a rather funny type movie with um, the characters. I have believe I've seen it once, but I was really young, so this will be a new-ish experience for me. Whether or not I still enjoy it is a whole nother question uh, entirely. But, um, here's the back of that one. Oh, I didn't show off the back of this one. I guess I should show off the back of that one. There's King Kong holding up the train. You got... That is King Kong. Uh, King Kong, I assume that's supposed to be Skull Island. Uh, King Kong tossing freaking Godzilla like a tramp and Godzilla using his atomic breath on Godzilla. I mean, <laughs> Godzilla using his atomic breath on King Kong. And on the back of this one, you see we got King Kong and Mecha Kong. Uh, three characters. Um, this lady and a dinosaur and King Kong fighting the dinosaur. But yeah. Um, the tagline is a colossal battle between two King Kongs. Ha uh ha. -huh. It's cheesy. That's all there is to it. But um. Very happy to add these two into my collection. And this one was free shipping fodder, to be honest. Um, maybe I should have went with Birds Are Psycho. But you can't buy cheese without having more cheese. Especially when it's uh, this whole... Godzilla month is going on. So, well, Godzilla month, Godzilla year. I don't know. It's just a really cool time to be a Godzilla fan. But, um, I believe that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Next video is probably going to be a review on Lord of Tears. So I look forward to seeing you guys. And peace out, and I'll catch you later. Bye.